have a shanti from bangalore hi nice meeting you same here thank you ma'am ma'am you can start um, okay uh, mr chandrakant can you please put on your video yes sir yes okay i think can we start sir yes ma'am okay. a very warm good morning to everyone present here and it's a nice monday and i feel uh, everyone is as uh, charged up and energetic feeling energetic like me so welcome to the online guest lecture of amity bangalore and uh, we have two panelists today for the guest lecture so that is uh, mr diyodar and miss himani so i'm going to read a bit about mr diyodar he is uh, mr chandrakant diyodar he is working as senior technical delivery manager and uh, with westion corporation he is based out of pune and he has been conducting sahaja yoga meditation programs at various places the sp second speaker is ms himani ms himani is currently working as manager hr at bimtech which is birla institute of management technology she has 20 years of experience of working in corporate and teaching in the management colleges in case of hr she is skilled in the areas of sourcing performance management staff development and employee training the topic for today's webinar is emotional intelligence at workplace so a bit about what is emotional intelligence emotional intelligence or emotional quotient is the capability of individuals to recognize their own emotions and those of others around them so it's 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 a bit to do about your own personal emotions and people around you so this emotional information guides people to think and behave and manage their uh, emotions uh, not only at the workplace but even in different places Uh, so this is a brief about the panelists about the topic so we are all set uh, mr chandrakant can you please take it over from you and welcome uh, to you from amity bank bangalore yes sir so uh, good afternoon all uh, thank you very much uh, thank you uh, dr shanti ma'am for inviting us thank you amity bangalore uh, for inviting us Uh, this is uh, amity university is very close to our heart because we had few session in uh, different uh, campus like indore uh, chandigarh and we got a very positive response uh, there are a lot of participant lot of faculty member and student now they are attached to us and they are asking more information so it's like a bonding we have created with the amity university uh, so thank you all uh, management team and special thanks to vice principal sir uh, chancellor sir uh, principal and management of uh, mit bangalore uh, to invite uh, sahaj yoga team here so it will be a great session today uh, just want to give a small introduction about myself uh, already uh, shati ma'am has given but uh, just i'm practicing sahaj yoga meditation uh, from last 8 to 10 year the way uh, you people are uh, started your career in from the amit university similar way i started my career after pass out i got the placement in wipro technology and there we got the similar topic emotional intelligence at workplace or how to be a became successful leader uh, from there i attended this session just as a casual i just went because my hr has attend uh, organized i went and i, I attended and from that day there is a difference my life has changed slowly and it has a tremendous change the tremendous transformation has happened uh, and now i am here to share my experience with you because you are the student who will be going to build the tomorrow's india all the new activity which will be going to lead in tomorrow that will be a student so the student is the key so all the successful leader of tomorrow is student so you will be tomorrow you will be building the new gadget you will be building the new technology you will be building the new organization everything you will start tomorrow so it's very nice that i should be interact with you and also the faculty member who are very much talented so uh, 
the session i will be going to explain you in a two two to three part uh, first i will be going to give the introduction about what is the emotional intelligence basically then uh, we will have a practical part how to achieve the emotional intelligence or maybe how to build the emotional intelligence within us and then i have my friend uh, kalik himani she is an expert uh, in answering your question on emotional intelligence because she has a 20 year experience in corporate as a hr so she can uh, give you a lot of guidance uh, on question and answer and she also will be going to help you how to practice this at regularly at your home okay so without wasting much time uh, let's start uh, about introduction so what is exactly emotional intelligence if you know maybe i know some people knows uh, maybe some people don't know but i am looking for a very simple definition what is the emotional intelligence or what is the emotional leadership or emotional quotient or maybe emotional uh, intelligence quotient so feel free to uh, share your thoughts on chat this term are same is this term are different or what is is emotional is uh, something different and intelligence is something different what is exactly you can share your thought on chat so let me read out some of the uh, okay there is no answer you can share some of your opinion on emotional intelligence uh, yes so uh, audience attendees can you please uh, according to you what emotional intelligence means maybe a word or two that will help us to take it forward please type in the chat whatever you know a simple definition <clears throat> okay so i want this session to be more interactive uh, not one person is speaking and you all are listening it should not be the case we should interact with each other so let me your own emotion and of the other and manage the emotion of yourself and other yes you are uh, in some way exactly right the emotional uh, thank you uh, manju for uh, i don't giving the answer so emotional intelligence or you can you can say emotional leadership or emotional quotient these are all the term are very close to each other and uh, what is exactly is the ability to understand and manage our own emotion and those of other people's around you okay people with a higher degree of emotional intelligence know what they are feeling what their emotion means and how they their emotion can affect the other people so if we go uh, one by one uh, there are a lot of characteristic or key element of uh, in emotional intelligence so this theory basically this emotional intelligence theory is proposed by one of the american uh, physiologist and then he given some key element like self regulation self awareness motivational emotional empathy and social skill so these are the skill if you have your emotional uh, intelligence will be high so but we will see how this is exactly happening to our day to day life with the small uh, experiment <clears throat> so I hope you all able to see my this uh, screen Uh, sir i just want to read out some more uh, responses are there uh, i think very good responses like uh, one of our professor rajni pillai uh, she has said eq is able to have a strong consciousness about your feelings and emotions and you should be able to regulate them according to the demand of the situation uh, then uh, we have another professor she is saying our ability to manage our own emotions uh, then miss geeta nayar controlling emotions of oneself uh, intelligently so i think your query has actually you know uh, started a reaction of emotions among people so we are getting very good responses yeah thank you uh, i see a very good response uh, even i am very happy uh, <laughs> to see the um, response so basically uh, hope you can able to see my uh, uh, ppt yes yes it's 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 clear so we we will try to 
understand this emotional intelligence in a very simple way with basic <laughs> much complicated theory so uh, emotional intelligence is means a very basic it's related to emotion okay it's related to intelligence if you say you are intelligent but sometimes you are too much dry people okay you are working working hard and trying to achieve lot of stuff if you are emotional then you are attached to your son your family member your wife your father mother and you are continuously thinking about them this is the main problem today we have we are thinking we are emotionally attached to one person and we are thinking only for that one person of well being okay so this is only part of emotional attachment and intelligent means we are intelligent but we are working working in a such a way that we are totally dry we do not have any emotion so i can give a mini example so what is that emotional and what is that uh, intelligent but today we want to combine both emotional intelligence so we want to work for ourselves we want to work for our society we want to work for our country and we want to work for our global uh, stuff so if we develop this globe emotional intelligence this is not about any individual it's about the collectivity how you can give the benefit to other how other people can be happy if you give the benefit to other you can take the uh, other people also with you that is a real uh, emotional intelligence so let's let us explain in more detail how this is exactly happen which part of our body control the emotion if you see the diagram which i am showing you on the ppt so don't worry i am not going to go in a deep uh, about the medical science so this is a simple brain diagram where we have a limbic system and a rational brain so the limbic system is associated on back side of your brain and the rational brain is somewhere here so if you see this limbic system will store all your uh, all the past related ideas and also all your emotion related activity will be stored in a limbic system so also we research has shown that from your child birth from your birth till your 9 year all whatever thing you do that activity will be stored in the limbic area okay and after 9 year whatever you do it's just a manifestation of this 9 year record on your limbic system just i want to give one example of uh, i want to give one story about the geeta the geeta is a very good girl she uh, she is a child uh, and her teacher told that you need to sing one uh, anthem so she is excited she uh, did a lot of hard work she prepared the uh, anthem she prepared uh, she, uh, she got the chance she uh, informed her father relatives and then they are very excited to wait for that particular day that is 15 august to sing that anthem in front of huge audience and that day came the particular day 15th august came the curtain has opened and she is in front of mike with the large audience sitting in front of her and she think she saw this big audience and somehow she forgot the first line of anthem because if you forgot the first line you cannot remember all other uh, anthem so all people are just watching her and she is thinking what happened what happened she could not able to recognize the first line and then she got upset she come up from the stage but that time she take one emotional decision from here onward i will be not going to the stage in my future so this she took the decision and after that once she became a, a very uh, good student she pass out she joined one of uh, my friends uh, office and even my friend told used to ask him just go and give the presentation but she gave some uh, funny answer okay uh, my mother has some medical problem i have to go to market or something why because she are not ready to give a presentation and always she used to remember that incident which is happened some time back in his her life so that impact her whole confidence and she is not ready to do anything 
and she is attached uh, or emotionally she is attached to that particular point so what my friend has did she is too much thinking about left side so we are going to explain you what is a left side and right side so this limbic area is more attached to your left side activity so what my friend has started he started working on her right side so right side means a rational brain this one he told okay don't give the presentation but join with me okay attend the presentation maybe you can answer a few question and then you can uh, give some ideas in between the presentation so that way she started and now she conquer this fear and she now she is a very good speaker today and uh, she is taking a lot of uh, session so this is how my friend has work on his emotional part and now by working on your left and then taking him on right side so your rational brain is started working and now you can work for you can remove your fear you can remove your emotional uh, part and you can work for society so now the question we will going to learn what is the emotional intelligence and how we can achieve that thing so before that let me explain you another part <clears throat> so one of my friends uh, told that you need to go uh, from uh, your home to your office by cycle so then question is i have to go from my home to office by cycle and uh, the cycle is totally new for me so there are two suggestion which come go first learn what is the cycle uh, how this is constructed what is the meaning of tire what is meaning uh, of uh, handle and there is another suggestion which come go and start uh, drive the cycle so few people told me you need to learn this theory before you need to um, uh, go to the, uh, achieve your place and other people told no no just drive and achieve your goal so what do you think which one is right for me and which one is wrong for me can you make the decision i am asking all participant can you please tell me what do you think so can you can you can you just rephrase that question again uh, between the left one and the right one okay. what is so my question is i have to go from my place to office okay so my friend suggested me to use a one technique which called as a cycle and this cycle word is very new for me i don't okay. know about anything about okay. cycle okay okay so some people suggested me first learn the cycle how This, what is the tire what is a, a, a cycle how it is constructed and all the stuff and my one of the friends suggested you just learn how to drive the cycle and take the cycle and go to your place so uh, what should i do any any suggestion from your uh, side okay i i just want to put that uh, in a different way to the audience that uh, you want to do something new whether it's the cycle or some other uh, product so do you first go and learn everything about it or you just want to go and just learn the new skill that's what you're asking sir uh, not exactly that but okay uh, maybe, uh, similar kind so anyway uh, let me see the chart what yes sir yes sir i am getting sir you have to go with the second suggestion yeah thank you uh, tanmay yeah okay so <clears throat> so the point behind this question is i don't want to go on detail on emotional intelligence what is the theory part okay what is exactly emotional intelligence or how it work in our body because this theory part you can learn from any uh, google or youtube video or anywhere but what i want to teach you is how to improve your em uh, emotional intelligence how to be a leader and that part is like our goal is to drive the cycle our goal is to learn the emotional intelligence not the theory part okay so here today you don't expect much theory but we are we are giving a practical experience where your left side which we call as a left sympathetic nervous system get improved and you will be more powerful and you can control your left side which is connected to your emotions properly so let's start what is exactly that is cover so before that let me yes. one body structure 
so the way we have a physical body with the two hand legs eyes mouth similar ways we have our internal body system which we call as a subtle system or in hindi we call as a sushma tantra okay this sushma tantra or this nadi system which is made up of three nadis so this left side you can see the left sympathetic nervous system if you ask a doctor what is this it is the left sympathetic nervous system or in science we call as a, in sanskrit we call as ida nadi this nadi is associated your with your emotions okay this is associated with the past okay so if this nadi goes in imbalance you are emotionally weak but this nadi or left sympathetic nervous system goes in a balance you will be emotionally strong so today we are going to teach you the technique how to be balance this left sympathetic nervous system then similar way we have a right sympathetic nervous system in sanskrit we call as a pingla nadi so at the start if you remember i shown you one diagram where the brain is there one limbic area is there then from uh, then another part is there so this limbic area is associated with the left channel okay and our rational brain is connected to this yellow line which is called as a right channel we call as a pingla nadi and then we have a center path which we call as a sushumna nadi or we if you ask a doctor it says a parasympathetic nervous system okay and on this we have a seven energy center muladhar swadishtan nabhi hriday vishuddhi agnya and then sahasra and then we have a one instrumental energy which is called as kundalini once this get activated it gives a balance balance in our left side and right side and once we get this balance we are very positive person we can control our emotion our memory power increase our concentration power increase we get a lot of benefit okay so how this benefit going to work with us let's go in step by step <clears throat> so as i told you this is our left side which we call as a left nadi or ida nadi if there is a imbalance or if you can say your left side is a weak so you are lethargic you feel uh, lethargy you will be always focus on the past and you are very emotional person okay and you always feel a depression on loneliness so these are the problem you will face if you have a left side as a weak or there is a imbalance in your left side similar way our right side if we have a right side weak or right side imbalance that person is overactive okay he is continuously thinking about future he is continuously workaholic aggressive angry so this kind of quality he will get if he is there is a imbalance in right side and uh, similar way there is a imbalance in left side he, we can see this kind of uh, characteristic but the person who is a balanced state which we call as a sushum uh, which is we call as a sushumna nadi or uh, the person who is on a parasympathetic nervous system so he always think a positive he will be a peaceful person he will be a complete balanced person so how this is happened exactly so let me explain you more detail way okay so before that i would like to show you what is a sahaj yoga so sahaj yoga is a method or uh, in science which gives this balance left side balance right side balance and because of left and right balance we will be in a center that is center path is a parasympathetic nervous system or we call as a sushumna nadi so i would like to show you a 2 minute video uh, about the founder who found the sahaj yoga called dr shri nirmala shrivastava so she will be going to explain you about the sahaj yoga and then i will be going to explain you how this going to work with our body system so let me show you this small video sa means with ja means born so it is born with you the right to become united which is the yoga with the divine we have two sides in our system of autonomous nervous system left and right which we call as left and right sympathetic nervous system the left side caters for our emotions for our past our desires 
the right side caters for our action, physical and mental. If you indulge into one too much and go too far with it, you develop an imbalance within yourself. In the center lies the third power which we call as parasympathetic nervous system. This is the channel which is the central path of ascent. When the Kundalini rises through it, it brings you in the balance because it rises in the center of the system. So this is the minimum that happens that you develop to your balance. This is the last breakthrough of our evolution where you have to get connected with the divine, you have to feel it on your central nervous system and that's how you get your self-realization. So as you see, uh, the founder uh, we call as Dr. Shri Nirmala Srivastava, uh, she completed her medical uh, degree from Lahore University and after that she invented a one method which we call as a self-realization on 5th May 1970 where she combined the spirituality and science together and developed this system and today millions and millions of people across the world are getting a benefit even if you go to the uh, any leadership program where uh, the method or teaching which is invented by uh, Her Holiness Shri Mataji Nirmala Devi or Dr. Shri Nirmala Srivastava uh, that we a uh, lot of people are going to teach uh, to a lot of leadership and they are uh, using this technique to be a more successful. So the same technique today we are going to be uh, learn. So if you see any of the successful leader like Dr. Abdul Kalam you can see or uh, maybe Anna Hazare or any big leader, they are doing a meditation somewhere. So meditation is a technique which gives a complete balance over your emotions, over your action power, over your desire. Okay, so this is the one of the best technique to conquer the emotions, okay, to lead your good life, to lead your successful life. It will integrate your brain, integrate your heart, in, integrate your emotion together and you will have a full control on your thought process. You have a full control on what you are doing. So that we are going to do in a practical part, maybe within a five minutes now. But before that, I would like to explain the seven energy center, which is located in our body, which how that is got cure and how that is coming to the balance. So if you see on the left side, we have the name which is there in a Sanskrit. Even this name you can see in a book, a, any of the books uh, of old scripture, or maybe you can search in a, uh, Google. And on the right side, we have a name which is uh, associated with the science, or maybe if you ask a doctor, what is this? Then they will say that, okay, this is, these are the name. So the first is a Muladhar Chakra, which we call as a, a pelvic plex in science. Then second is a Swadhisthan Chakra, which we call as Arotic Plex. So this Swadhisthan Chakra is, what is that? It's nothing but a bunch of cells which create a gray cell for our brain. And it uh, once this energy center is in a balance, we get the creativity. Okay. Then Nabi Chakra, which is in the, uh, near to our uh, Nabi. And basically this Nabi Chakra control our body organ like stomach, kidney, uh, pancreas and all other stuff. So one of the thing, if you are to be a successful leader, your health should be a very good. And this health is not only about your physical or mental health, but it's all kind of health, like physical, mental, spiritual health. So once if you are a healthy person in all type of uh, thing, then you will be a successful leader. Then you can achieve something. So this is this meditation technique will help you to balance your mental, your healthy, um, mental well-being. Uh, your physical well-being, your spiritual well-being and also it will improve your immune power. Also it improve your left side and right side. So now this Nabi Chakra, then we, uh, we go to the heart chakra, then we have Vishuddhi Chakra. Basically Vishuddhi Chakra is located at the throat. So if this chakra goes in balance, your communication power is not good. Uh, communication power is not about speaking loudly or uh, speaking uh, in a certain way, but the communication power is whatever you speak, it has a weightage. Even if you speak very politely, your, uh, uh, your uh, whatever sentence you will speak, with, which has some weightage. So that is a communication power, okay? Then we have a Agya Chakra, which is located here. 
if you are thinking too much so what will happen this energy center goes in imbalance maybe you will think about past or you may think about future and then we have a sahasra chakra top of this head so once we do meditation this all energy center uh, will come into the balance and once it come into the balance it improve the immune power it improve the um, blood circulation it improve the energy and this gives a positive energy to us and once we are good from inter from our heart or from inside then we can be a very good person from outside also so let me explain you with the one graphics how exactly this is happening in our body system okay so if you see this is a very simple uh, body chart uh, i can show you this, uh, i can explain you the what is a self realization self realization is awakening of our internal power which we call as a kundalini which is located in our sacrum bone and the sacrum bone is located at the bottom of our spinal cord so if you see this is our sacrum bone where this kundalini energy is located once this energy is activated it goes to all seven energy center and also it goes to left and right channel and it nourish and manifest the quality of this channel so first this kundalini goes to the muladhara chakra this muladhara chakra basically control all our reproductive organ then it goes to the swadhisthan chakra basically swadhisthan chakra will control all our brain activity then it goes to slowly to the nabhi chakra which is located on a uh, stomach then after the nabhi chakra nabhi chakra gives a satisfaction all kind of satisfaction to us and then slowly we goes to the heart chakra which is located at the, uh, our center path of uh, center location of our heart it control our all heart activity it purifies our blood then it goes to the vishuddhi chakra so vishuddhi chakra basically control all our sensing organ ear nose throat eyes and then slowly it goes to the agnya chakra which is here and after agnya chakra it goes to our limbic area which is the our last energy center or we call as the sahasra chakra in the uh, sanskrit so this limbic area or sahasra chakra is nothing but is connected to our emotional side so once this energy goes here it gives a complete balance to our left side and this left side is completely associated with our emotional our past our desire so this will come into the balance so how this will come into the balance uh, so for that we need to do some practical part <clears throat> okay so i am still getting a lot of answer from the question which i have asked some time back so thank you very much so as i explain uh, about the founder uh, dr shri nirmala shivasto she uh, teach this method to worldwide uh, today more than 100 country are practicing this method this is totally free of cost you can go to anywhere in the world any city any state you will find a free sahaja yoga center so before spending too much time uh, we can start the practical Uh, this is completely natural technique it's a very scientific technique with this technique you became your own doctor and it's very spontaneous technique so how we will do this technique so first 2 minute i will be going to explain you uh, this technique and this step with the open eyes and then we need to perform this practice or a practical part with the closed eyes so first thing is both of your palm you can observe my video both of your palm should be open like this facing toward the sky and you keep your both the palm on your lap your both the hand on your lap your spinal cord should be upright and straight be in a relaxed position this is your base position okay after that what you need to do to clear the left side so this left side is associated with our emotion to make this side balance we need to keep our left hand on our lap and right hand on mother earth if you are sitting on a chair you can direct your right hand towards mother earth okay so what is the science behind this step if you throw any heavy particle in the sky where it come it come to toward the ground similar way all the heaviness from our body we are trying to remove with the mother earth element because our body is made up of five element and mother earth is one of the element then take your both the hand on our lap 
then we will be going to balance our right side so our right hand on a lap and we will raise our left hand toward the sky bending from the elbow like this you all can do this step with me if possible okay this will clear our right side or it gives a balance on our right sympathetic nervous system which we call as a pingala nadi and then we'll take our both the hand on lap then three step of self realization raise our right hand put on our heart little left side then raise our right hand put on our forehead horizontally like this and then raise our right hand put on top of our head stretch your palm press it little bit hard and rotate seven time clockwise direction okay so that your skin of skull should rotate with your palm and then we will do the meditation for few minute so all step is clear before i would like to start the practical part i will take a one minute pause if you have any question please tell me otherwise we will start our practical session do you have any question or any doubt you just ask me i am taking a one minute pause uh i i think mr dipayan wants to ask a question so mr dipayan he did raise a hand but are you there mr dipayan can you chat you want to ask a question no question okay so the okay no question i think by mistake he has raised a hand uh, there's uh, mr kiran he is asking uh, kindly explain the balancing part again yes uh yes kiran sir i will definitely going to explain the balancing part uh, maybe do not worry uh, once we start the practical uh, just you follow the instruction and in the instruction i will repeat the, the whole process once again no problem and uh, miss manju agarwal she has asked uh, can you tell about the right hand representing the limbic system okay so this right hand is not representing the limbic system basically this right hand and the left hand is associated left hand is associated with the left sympathetic nervous system and this goes to our brain on a left side and where our limbic area is located right side is connected with the right sympathetic nervous system and it goes to the um, brain and we call as a pingala nadi but what happened here in agnya chakra if you see this diagram here in agnya chakra this left and right side is getting exchanged so our left sympathetic nervous system goes to right side and the right sympathetic nervous system goes to the left side so this is uh, the crossing will happen at agnya chakra so because we have a very limited time i could not able to explain uh, in a detail about this energy center why this crossing will happen and how it's connected to our limbic area rational brain and another part of brain because it will take a uh, few time but uh, maybe in future if we get the opportunity we will explain you in a detail uh, way so no problem okay so if so sir, sir i just want to uh, tell it's it's 12 10 now we are having another 20 to 25 minutes so just just telling you the time yeah yeah okay okay now because uh, the practical part will take around 8 uh, to 9 minutes yes we can do that definitely we can do that i'm sure everyone will be benefit okay so now uh, i request you all participant be in a relaxed position close your eyes your spinal cord should be upright and straight if you are wearing a tight watch or tight belt just loose it out okay please switch off or put your mobile in a silent mode for just 8 or 9 minute your both the hand on your lap your spinal cord should be upright and straight your concentration on top of your head and with the close eyes we will watch our thoughts hum band aankhon se apne vicharon ko dekhenge do not get involved in a thought just watch as a third person
now we'll do the balancing of our left side that is ida nadi that is our emotional part so our left hand on our lap and right hand toward mother earth if you are sitting on a chair just direct your right hand toward mother earth and here you need to pray in our heart oh mother earth please balance my left side you can observe or experience the flow of energy on both of your palm and top of your head let's enjoy that flow now slowly slowly take your right hand back to your lap now we are going to do our right side balance so our right hand on our lap and we'll slowly raise our left hand toward the sky bending from the elbow here we will pray mother please clear my right side please give me a complete balance on my right side observe the flow of energy on both of your palm and top of your head now slowly take your left hand on your lap now we work both the hand on our lap our spinal cord should be upright and straight now raise our right hand put on our heart little left side and here we need to press little hard and in our heart we need to say mother i am the pure spirit shri mata ji main ek shuddha atma hu we need to say 12 times in our heart mother i am the pure spirit now raise our right hand put on our forehead horizontally अपना सीधा हाथ माथे पे आड़ा रखना है जहां पे सर दुखता है टीका लगाते हैं आड़ा प्रेस इट लिटिल बिट हार्ड 
squeeze our palm and here you need to pray mother i forgive everyone including myself maine sab ko shama ki hai jis jisne bhi mujhe chot pahunchayi hai maine sab ko shama ki hai Now slowly raise our right hand, put on top of our head, press it little bit hard, stretch our palm, and rotate our palm seven times clockwise direction. And here we need to pray, Mother, please give me my self realization. Shri Mata Ji. मुझे मेरा आत्म साक्षात्कार दीजिए हमें ये प्रार्थना सात बार करनी है और अपने हाथ की हथेली को सात बार सर के ऊपर घुमाएंगे जिससे सर की चमड़ी भी घूमेगी और प्रार्थना करेंगे श्री माता जी प्लीज गिव मी माई सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन मदर प्लीज गिव मी माई सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन Now slowly, slowly take your both the hand on your lap. Our spinal cord should be upright and straight, and we'll do a meditation for one or two minute with the closed eyes and our concentration on top of our head. <laughs> स्लोली स्लोली यू कैन ओपन योर आईज धीरे धीरे हम अपनी आंखें खोलेंगे नाउ स्लोली यू कैन ओपन योर आईज एंड रेज अवर राइट हैंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ अवर हेड बट डू नॉट टच जस्ट ऑब्जर्व योर राइट हैंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ योर हेड इफ यू फील अ सम कूल और हॉट ब्रीज यू कैन मूव योर पाम लिटिल अप लिटिल डाउन लिटिल लेफ्ट लिटिल राइट and see if you can able to feel a cool or hot breeze coming from your head can you try this can you feel this energy on top of your head it's a very minute energy once the kundalini is awakened we can feel the cool or hot breeze from our limbic area and that is what we are trying to feel this energy now take your right hand on a lap and similar step you can do with the left hand राइट बहुत सूक्ष्म एनर्जी है इसलिए हमें एक बार कोशिश करना है कि कहां से आ रही है उसे महसूस करना है नाउ ट्राई अगेन विद द राइट हैंड 
again take your left hand on back on to lap and try with the right hand now stretch your both the arm towards the sky move your head little back side and try to look towards the sky and here we will going to ask one question is this the feeling of self realization kya yahi aatma sakshatkar ki anubhuti hai we need to ask this question in our heart and slowly take your both the hand in front of our heart do the namaskar the way we do namaskar and slowly open our palm like this did you feel some kind of flow you need to open your palm like this maybe little close to each other then little open away from each other and see if you can feel the cool or hot breeze so maybe here our practical part is over uh you may feel some cool or hot breeze here so uh, now we are moving to our question answer part so i request you himani if she can switch on her videos and take few question from the chat himani you are there yes i am here yeah so now the himani will be going to lead the session please feel free to ask the question uh welcome ms himani uh, do you want me to read out some of the questions to you okay do you want me to go through the chat no i can read it out for you not a problem okay okay so uh there's ms uh, mr ankit sharma so he has asked that how many times should we go ahead with this uh, kind of meditation and so on the okay okay uh mr ankit sharma uh see what happens today what you have experienced is the rising of your kundalini that is your own energy so these are steps in future you will not be required to follow what you will be required to do is all the steps of balancing because uh, as uh, mr chandrakant has explained earlier that we have chakras we have channels which are called nadis so we need to strengthen them today our kundalini energy has arisen but now by doing meditation again and again we need to strengthen our system our subtle system and for that you need to do meditation in the morning for 10 minutes or whenever you get time and before sleeping also so 10 10 minutes if for daily you will do the meditation that will be sufficient yes thank you ma'am and uh, i have a question from uh, from miss geeta nayar so she has asked that uh, why do we feel some kind of vibrations on the hands when while we are meditating uh, why do we feel vibrations some vibrations in our hands when we are in the position of meditation okay uh, first of all i would like to reply ankit also he has asked that how much time in a day so he can do it for 10 minutes 15 minutes when your mind is silent you can be in that state for as long as you want but of course at least for 10 minutes in the starting now i come to the question you asked why do we feel some, some vibrations, vibrations yes, yes on the hand what happens when our kundalini energy arises in our central channel it purifies our uh, some blockages or some energy blockage in our different nadis or in our chakras so on our hand uh, our hand our fingers they represent different different chakras right so if there is any blockage there to our energy our kundalini energy is cleaning it that's why we may feel some tingling sensation uh, like something is running there this kind of sensation we can feel so that is not a big deal it means you are in a right state and your kundalini energy has started to purify your subtle system Any 
other question? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm just checking the questions. And uh, Professor Mamta Hegde, she has asked that uh, is it uh, that Agya Chakra is the place for the soul? So, what does it indicate? Agya Chakra is not the place of the soul, but Anahat Chakra, our heart, that is the place of the soul. Agya Chakra is the chakra of forgiveness. Ego, ego comes, then we are unable to forgive others. So, Agya Chakra represents forgiveness. Okay. Uh, so, audience, any more questions? We posted one feedback form, so we request you all participants, please fill this feedback form. So we'll get uh, about how did you feel after today's meditation. And if okay. you have a specific question, like how to balance uh, your emotions uh, uh, about blood pressure, diabetes, or headache, or back pain, uh, that specific uh, thing we can address. And if you are really interested, we have uh, like some advanced topic, which says uh, music therapy, foot soak, and ice pack treatment. Uh, if uh, Dr. Shanti ma'am gives a permission and uh, management of uh, Amity Bangalore, uh, we can definitely have this future follow-up session. So also I would like to request uh, Himani ma'am, if she can explain, uh, when to do the meditation and how much time we should do at initial time. So that will help the student. Okay, sure. See, initially, uh, as I have told to Ankit, that we are required to meditate at least for 10 times. But when I'm saying 10, 10 minutes, sorry, what does it mean? Like, how you will start is first understand this. You are sitting in a comfortable position. It will be better if you sit on the ground because art gives us um, this art thing you would have listened. So when we sit on the ground, our negativities get released in the art. But if you are not able to sit on the ground, don't worry at all. You can sit on the chair and you can place your uh, feet on the ground. And uh, first of all, just let your hands, both the hands go towards the earth. And then just pray there, uh, keep your my, uh, eyes closed and just pray there at, uh, at that uh, state. If, oh Mother Earth, please take away all my negativities. Please absorb all my negativities. When we pray like this and we, and we, we, we see that, that what is happening to us, then Mother Earth really takes out the negativities which are blocked in our system. After that, just do it for one minute, two minutes, as long as you want. Uh, two minutes are enough. After that, you can place your left hand in your lap. Our left side is the side of our desire. So we are desiring when we are opening our left hand like this. We can keep it like this and we can have it placed comfortably on our lap. So we can have desire here for cleaning our left system. But at times it happens that we desire a lot, but we don't act to get uh, our uh, desires. So what to do? To get our, to get our left channel clear, mm -hmm. just, uh, just place your right hand on the ground or let it go towards the ground if you're sitting on a chair. Close your eyes and just pray. With my own energy, my Kundalini energy, we can call it our mother also because it's uh, our eternal energy, we can say. You, oh my mother, please take away all the negativities of my left channel in the mother earth. We will pray like this, then we will sit quietly and we will see what is happening with us. Just see, no reaction at all, no reaction. Whatever is happening, you just watch that. After one, two minutes, again, raise your uh, right hand, keep it in your hand and raise your left hand towards the sky like this. Now, while we are raising this uh, right hand, 
it is because now we will clean our right channel right channel represents the activity whether it is physical activity or it is mental activity and most of the time we are too much engaged in activities so right channel becomes very hot which gives us many kind of problems like diabetes high blood pressure liver problem so many problem so to uh, cool down our right channel we will do this exercise that we will keep our left hand like this the heat excess heat will go into the sky either here ether will work five uh, uh, these five elements are working on our system first we have used earth for left channel now we will use ether for our right channel so for that here again you will pray that oh my mother energy please clean my right channel all excess heat please take it out in ether like this we will stay in this state for one or two minutes or as long as we want to get the peace after that we will place both our hands like this in front of our heart and here we will pray oh our mother energy please give me balance and please take away all my thoughts you don't need to uh, regulate your thoughts don't try to control your thoughts just ask your own kundalini energy please make me thoughtless please give me mental silence and stay try if any thoughts are coming then just say i don't need don't get involved in those those thoughts don't control them just say i don't need these thoughts i don't need these thoughts like this you will feel that you are going initially maybe for a few seconds in the uh, condition of mental silence uh, miss imani uh, i'm sorry i'll have to interrupt you here we just uh, i mean the time has right, got right, right. over i'm sorry to interrupt you no, it's so okay, okay. so uh, i think uh, like the panelists have explained our body is like a temple so we do need to take care of our mental health and our body and it all seems to be related that's what i understood today and a very very good session from ms himani and mr diothar about 